everybody, so today I have a mini haul for you, so if you want to see what I have been purchasing, then please keep on watching. So the first thing that I got was the Garnier Milk Micellar Cleansing Water, now I've heard so many good things about this for removing makeup, so I just thought I would get my hands on it. And I got this from Savers, and it is only like the mini version, and this is 125 millilitres, which I think is still quite a lot of water for 125, and this was like 95 pence. Um, I have used this, I do really, really like it, it is really, really good for removing makeup and it does really, really take it off quite well, so I do know what the hype is about now, I do really, really like it, so I got that from Savers. Next thing I got was the Rimmel London Scandalised 24 Hour Liquid Eyeliner, and this is a gel eyeliner, sorry, and this is the waterproof one and it comes with a little brush. I have used this, I do really, really like it. I did wear it all day at uni yesterday and I was there five till nine and it did last. So I really, really like this. It's really intense and pigmented and it does last a very, very long time because if you're like me and you have oily eyelids, sometimes eyeliner does tend to fade off or like sort of transfer onto the um, crease and I absolutely hate that with eyeliners but this one does not do that. So if you are wanting to look for like a really pigmented but a long lasting gel eyeliner then I would definitely recommend this one and I think I paid like three or four pounds for this at Savers. So if you haven't made the Savers, Savers do have a lot of Rimmel products. So I got this as well. The last thing I got from Savers was the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. This is the new one and it is the 24 hour moisture hydration one and this is the pore blurring effect one as well. I did have the original uh, Match Perfection and that one was quite dewy looking but I just really really wanted this one because it says pore blurring and I do like foundations do blur out your pores. So I just got, got mine in the shade 100 Ivory which is my shade in this foundation. I really like it. Um, I have already got it on my face right now um, but if you do want to see a review on this then please give this video a thumbs up or leave a comment below because I would like to do a review on this to see how long it would last on the skin um, but I have got it on now I do really, really like it it's not a dewy finish but it's not a matte it's just in between so I got that as well and I think this was like £4.98 so it's an absolute bargain if you go into savers definitely look at the Rimmel products because they do tend to put the prices down in there so I got that as well. Now moving on to Wilkinson's I got a Estee lip liner in satin mauve which I am wearing on my lips right now and I do love this lip liner I have already purchased it once before so I did actually have to repurchase another one but I think they have changed the colour of it because I do remember my other one and it was a lot more purple whereas this one is a lot more pink so I think they have changed it um, but I'm not entirely sure but I do still really, really like this, it's a really really good creamy lip liner and it does help just to keep your lipstick on all day and it can wear on its own like I am now so I got that as well and this one was £1. I also got the I Heart Extreme Volume Mascara from Essence, I have heard a lot of good reviews about this mascara so I just had to get my hands on it and this is in the shade black, obviously I do like black mascaras and this is what the brush looks like, it wasn't a brush that I was expecting but it is a really really quite big brush and I did not think that it was going to be that type of brush but I have used it, I do quite like it, it is really really good at lengthening the lashes I have got it on my lower lashes today and it does really 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 make them long and just separated so I do quite like this and I think this was £2.50 or £2.80 which again is really really a good bargain for mascara and yeah I just, I do quite, quite like this as well and it is for volume if you want that volume in mascara. Last thing I got from Wilkinson's was the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm and I have heard Nikki Tutorials use this on her channel because she did say that glycerin is contained in this so it does make foundation stick to it. So if you do want to see a first impression on this because I do have quite oily skin and I, my foundations just tend to just come off and just slide away from my face throughout the day so if you don't see your first impression on this then I will do that leave a comment below or give this video a thumbs up so this is the sensitive one it has no alcohol so there's no burn sensation it does have a quite really quite a manly musky smell but that is expected as it is a man's shave balm but I got this and I think this is £2.50 which I think is an absolute bargain for 100 millilitres so I got that and then it says that it instantly soothes irritation, blah blah blah. So if you don't see a first impression, then please leave a comment below or 
give this video a thumbs up. I did order a few things from eBay. So I did order some Estee Lauderdale Wear foundation and you can go on eBay and get samples of foundations which I think is really really good because if you don't want to go out and buy a foundation that you haven't tried you can obviously get a tester or a sample from eBay. So I got the Estee Lauderdale Double Wear in Bone which is like the lightest shade and I also got one in the shade Dawn which is a bit darker than the Bone one. So I did, I did get these and make sure that you do go on their feedback to see if they are real foundations because some of them obviously are fake foundations but I did go on the seller's feedback and they all said that it was accurate and it was the real foundation and I can tell because Estee Lauder does have a certain smell and this does smell the same so I am 100% sure whether this is a real foundation so I would really recommend going on eBay for samples so I got those and I think these were like £3 each so it's a really really good way to try out foundations without buying a full foundation the last two things I got was two glitters and these were 99 pence each and this one is like a pink with like purple reflex in if you can see that and it's absolutely gorgeous so I got that as well and that was 99 pence and I also got this one which is like red and it has yellow and green reflex in and they are so so amazing for 99p pence you can't really go wrong so I got those as well that is my mini haul I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see your first impression on the foundation and also the sensitive post balm then leave a comment below I'll give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video bye guys